Yo, what's going on, guys? Today's video is spicy. I'm not going to lie. My keyboard just came in, the Rainy 75. Now, this keyboard is kind of, it's kind of been underground in the works. There's been YouTubers to post videos on this keyboard, uh, kind of promoting it, because it is a, a Kickstarter campaign, and a lot of people really don't like those Kickstarter campaigns. Basically, what Kickstarter is, essentially, is it's a uh, platform for new products um, to be sold and kind of be like pre-ordered and if a certain amount of people do end up uh, pre-ordering the product then the product will start to go into development and uh, production and all this and that and that is the case with the rainy 75 let me take you guys into a deeper look here so this is the kickstarter website uh, this is where i got it off of um because this is initially the only place that you could get it from um i know some people have gotten it on taobao which is uh, a chinese uh, kind of chinese online um marketplace uh but i got mine on kickstarter and i know the majority of people watching this did get theirs on kickstarter um if you are did you, if you did pre-order one here it says here's 4729 backers that is a lot of people for just this keyboard that um isn't really isn't really well known and they ended up uh getting here six hundred ninety thousand dollars so that's how much money they raised that's how much money they got from people pre-ordering the product such as myself i think i was the 15th backer so um right on on launch day on kickstarter i was ready to get this keyboard i was like i don't really win a lot of things in life so i was mm, right get right getting right on this making sure that i do go ahead and get this before it does sell out uh, especially the one that i wanted um because there was a few that were like the early bird price uh there was cheaper versions um depending on how early you got on the site and did back it up um but yeah i ended up getting mine uh early bird pro i got the pro version for the jwop switches i think they're called or the jwick switches yeah the jwick switches i ended up getting those because they sound um more more thockier more creamy to me kind of like a mix in between i like that uh the the um, wob switches i think are are the ones wait no i think i think it might have been the wob switches no i don't really i don't really know i don't really know i'll i'll confirm on that but yeah i did end up and get the you know the the switch that sounded uh creamier um, yeah, it's by it's by Jaywick is the per people who made the switch and then I think it's called the Wob switch and the regular uh, version like the standard version and um, the other versions have that other switch that in my opinion sound a little bit like clacky to me um, and I was going for more of that thocky creamy kind of switch so I ended up getting the uh, the Jaywick switch um, yeah it says it right here I'm stupid JWK Jaywick switches um, anyways this is the same color I got as well. Uh, it's labeled as white. It's more of an off-white. The case is more of an off-white, I should say. It's really, really heavy. Let me show you guys if I can kind of bring it up to the camera here. To see it? It's really, really heavy. I want to say easily like... What does this feel like? Four pounds? Four or five pounds? It's really heavy, I'm not going to lie. But it, it does feel really, really premium. Uh, and I got this for $135 off of the Early Bird Pro pricing. Um, so yeah, and it comes with uh, all the other stuff that you'll see in this video that I'm about to put up here. It's an unboxing video. It comes up with, or it comes with the uh, cable, uh, USB-C <clears throat> is what it takes. USB-C and USB comes with a keyboard, uh, keycap puller, um, all this. It's 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 really really a good deal when you think about it. Um, it comes pre-lubed, all this crazy stuff. And here, uh, this is the packaging. This is what it looks like. Rainy seventy five right on the front of the box here and it just slides off just like that this thing i'm pulling out here it has the accessories in it like i mentioned previously it has the keycap puller uh the uh, wireless dongle in there as well or the bluetooth dongle the keycap puller then the cord to connect this keyboard it's actually shrink wrapped which shrink wrapped which surprised me um because not all the keyboard companies actually do shrink wrap their keyboards but i mean that just shows the level of quality and you know protection that rainy that his keyboard company is, is going to to make sure their quality of their products is insane um this is these are the pamphlets the uh directions uh, all that it's mostly in chinese i think there's some english at the back there it says here all gone so this is what was originally for sale on kickstarter the 89 dollars keyboards were the standard like or 
the light version, the light version, which doesn't come with RGB, has a PP plate, <clears throat> HMX switches. I think those were the clackier ones that I decided not to go with. Yeah, all of that. It says here there's 100 backers on that one. That's and This was a super, super early bird. If we go down here, this is the early bird price light version. What's the difference between these two? Oh, that was super early bird. Then this is early bird. And then it goes to discount price and then there's a um and the discount price is kind of the cheaper the most expensive option that was available to you when these did release this is the one i got the super early bird oh no this is not the one i got but this was a standard version hundred dollars um this one was the uh, standard version early bird price this was a super early bird this was the early bird and this was the discounted price this was the one that i did get the super early bird price pro version uh 115 and the shipping was 20 bucks so i did pay 135 for that and there was 1100 backers on that one if you really think about it not a lot of people got these or were able to get these like back these uh, they went really quickly well they didn't go that quickly to be honest i thought they would go quicker but i think it took about a few days and some people were backing out like getting rid of their pledge or refunding it like they weren't they weren't sure i guess about their purchase so other people were able to at the time who didn't get it on drop or something or was having an issue with another one or say you wanted the super early bird pro and other people were, were um refunding that or, or or not not backing into that taking away their their back then other people could go in there and you know purchase or, and back it so it was kind of like an on and off like i want this i don't want this and someone else sneaks in uh it's not the case anymore all of them are sold out and I ordered this roughly in either January, I think it was January, early, mid-January, I believe. Um, and I got it just a couple days ago. So it did take them a while, um, but it was actually on time, like they said, like April. Um, April, they said by the end of April for sure, I got mine April 19th, April 18th. So it was it was pretty much on time. Uh, a lot of people were were worrying because they weren't sending out updates on their Discord server and whatnot um, about the production and the shipping and you know the times and all of that. Um, but yeah, they 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 managed to get it out. Um, they're doing a great job. It looks like. I mean, I got mine. I'm sure other people are getting theirs now or starting to. It's been a it's been a pretty good process ordering it. Just just a little bit of uh, a, just a, a slight lack of communication on their part. I think they should have done a little bit more to communicate consistently with the buyers um, because that's why the majority of them were worried. But I think that overall um, they did a pretty good job. Uh, and this is Hippio Tech. This is a YouTuber that that reviewed it. That the video I watched, uh, his review was really good. I mean, it got me to to, to back this. So he did a really in-depth view, in-depth uh, video on that on the keyboard. You can go ahead and check that out on Hippio Tech if you want to. Yeah, it's a legit company. If you were worried about that as well, it's a legit company. I mean, I have my keyboard, obviously. So, yeah, it's not, it's nothing sketchy. The directions mostly come in Chinese. If you're worried about that, I think there there's English on some of the on on some of it. If you scroll long enough, there will be an English uh, kind of translated manual. Um, and there is an app as well. It's called called Via. So to use Via app, um, all you have to do is just authorize device and your Rainy 75 will show up here, your keyboard, once you connect it. And once you click connect, this will pop up and you'll have all uh, custom customizable options available to your Rainy 75. Once you do go ahead and get it, you can map every key. Uh, as you can see here, it has media, macro, layers, special characters, lighting, and custom. Um, I'm not going to mess with all that because I have no idea what any of that does. So I'm just going to keep mine as it is. Um, but I did change the RGB and you can go down here to lighten it, lighting and change that. There's a bunch of different modes here, a bunch of different ones. And you can change the color of it, the color wheel. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm, for $135, this keyboard has insane value. It might be one of the best um, keyboards value wise on the market right now um I, I really don't see any other keyboard competing competing with this with a price to performance scale but i mean yes yeah, it's, it's really 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 incredible here um there's there's you're not miss you're missing out on on a lot if you don't go ahead and purchase this keyboard i'm just gonna say it right now um but i'm gonna leave you guys with a sound test and if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and leave it a like subscribe for content just like this i do a bunch of content um, anything, you know, ranging from video games to vlogging to reviews, stuff like this. This is what I enjoy. This is what I'm going to continue to do. Without further ado, I'll see you guys when I see you guys.